Why should I play the Roman fool and die on my own sword while I see lives the gashes do better upon them? Turn! Hello, turn! Of all men else, I have avoided thee, but get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. A bloodier villain than terms can give thee out. Thou lowest labor, as easy mayest thou the entrenchant air of thy keen sword impress as make me bleed. Let down thy blade upon the vulnerable crests. I live a charmed life, and must not yield to one of woman born. Despair thy charm, and let the angel whom thou still hast served tell thee, Macduff was from his mother's womb untimely whipped. Accursed be that tongue that tells me so, for it had cowed my better part of man. And be these juggling fiends, be no more believed. That palter with us in a double sense, that keep the word of promise to our ear and break it to our hope. I'll not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward, and live to be the show and gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rarer monsters are. Painted on a pole and under it, here you may see the tyrant. I will not yield. To kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet and to be baited by the rabble's curse. Though Burnham would become to Dunsinane, and thou oppose, being of no woman born, yet I'll try the last. Before my body, I lay my warlike shield, lay on Macduff, and damned be he that first cries, hold enough. <laughs> I would that the friends we miss were safe arrived. Well, some must go off, and yet by these I see so great a day as this is cheaply bought. May Duff was missing, and your noble son. Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's death, but he lived until he was a man. Then he is dead. I brought the field your cause of sorrow. The wish no sooner his promise confirmed in the unshrinking station he had fought. He lived until he died. Had he his hurts before? Aye, on the front. It must not be measured by worth of then. Here, it hath no end. And so, his knell is noble. He's worth more sorrow than, and that I'll spend for him. He's worth no more. They say he parted well and paid his score. Why, here comes some newer comfort. Hail, king, for so thou art. Behold where stands the usurper's cursed head. The time is free. I see thee compass with thy kingdom's pearl. Let speak my salutation in their mind, whose voices I desire aloud with mine. Hail, king of Scotland. Hail, Hail king, king of, of Scotland. Scotland. We shall not spend a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you, my thanes and kinsmen. Henceforth be earls, the first that ever Scotland in such an honor named. What's more to do, which would be planted newly with the time, as calling home our exiled friends abroad, that fled the sna snares of watchful tyranny, producing forth the cruel ministers of this dead butcher and his fiend-like queen, who as tis thought, by self and violent hands, took off her life this, and what needful else that calls upon us, by the grace of grace. We will perform and measure time and place. So thanks to all, at once and to each one whom we invite to see us crowned at Scone. <laughs>